going to do my saving throws as well. Okay. Well, shut up. Oh, uh, <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, connect streaming software. Why isn't it working? Oh, there it goes. Okay, there, Eric. We are alive. Let me do an announcement in mine. Uh, shoot. Launch YouTube and get the stream. Hi, everybody. If anybody is already here, we're just going through the mm -hmm. final setup process. Okay, there, there should be notification. I hear somebody eating chips. <laughs> uh, hi, Wilson. You are the first one in the stream. Welcome, welcome. Uh, here comes some people. Here comes everybody. Oh, there we go. Uh, is Gallium in here? Gallium's one of your all's developers, isn't he? Gallium. Uh, he's a moderator. Gal or Gal he's a moderator. Okay, he can join us if yeah. uh, if y'all want. And he sucks. Oh, he's listening right now. Yeah. FYI. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. We are here for another live stream. Uh, Britannic. What do you mean Britannic? What do you mean Britannic? Because it's the Titanic. It's a Titanic game. Oh wow, we've got sixty-four people in here already. Holy cow! All right, so everybody, welcome. This is the Sunday night live stream that I normally do, but it's not Sunday night yet. We're doing it a little bit early today because I have a special surprise for all of you. I am here with all of the creators of the famous Titanic game, Titanic SOS, the one that we play all the time in Roblox. They have updated the game. Uh, they're doing version two, new animations, new details, and all this stuff, and they are kind enough to do a sneak peek. The game releases when does it release again? The 8th? March 8th. March 8th. Friday. So I've got some of the developers here, and uh, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'll start off. I'm Athos. I have founded and created Titanic SOS, and I've been doing this for way too long. <laughs> I started making Titanic games back in 2014 on Roblox, and well, it grew out to be a massive project that is now Titanic SOS V2. So there's that. Yeah, I'll start off next. Uh, my name is uh, Ethan, and I'm a 3D modeler. I think I joined about a year ago. Gotcha. Yes. Good to meet you. Good so, to meet you. My name is uh, Chris. I'm co and you do nothing. of MI, and I help do all the community stuff and uh, just help coordinate things alongside Athos. Well, good to, good to meet you all, and thank you guys for the invitation, and thank you for Great. allowing everybody here on the stream to check everything out. So, are we ready to begin the tour? And are we going to experience Absolutely. the sinking? Yes. All We're right. starting at 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Titanic time. You okay. can view the time. Sorry, uh, you can view the in-game time by clicking on menu on your top right. Okay, hold on one second. Let me make some adjustments to the settings so it's not too loud. Uh, guys, let's do a quick audio check. Can you hear me and everybody talking behind the scenes? Can you hear everybody okay? Can you guys hear them talking? And can you hear me and everything's good? Yep, I can. Okay, can great. Can you hear me? Wonderful. Can you hear me? Testing. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, everybody, it looks good. It looks good. All right, we are we are live and everything is getting All right, and everything looks great. All right, close menu. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, where are we going? Where's the first place you would like um, to see? Uh, uh, let's take a look at the Grand Staircase. This is not the most up-to-date model yet. Okay. Uh, this is just used for testing, but Hi, I have added the majority of the new features to this place. So you're playing the most up-to-date version of uh, the gameplay and the syncing and everything, the effects. Okay. Um, all that there's left is some uh, model adjustments. As you can see, some lifeboats are missing. Okay. Let's but hey. Uh, so are these all developers, like everybody that's here? Because we got a lot more people in game than that are in chat. Correct. Um, these are yeah, all developers and mods that have been testing. Yeah, yeah like him. Mr. Gotcha. Mr. So that's what's going on here. Okay. So we're still in a early build. Like it's not. This isn't the final version, correct? We're still waiting on the final version. To correct. Be yeah. Yeah. As you can see, all the lifeboats are missing. We've got one lifeboat on the port side since I've just started scripting the lifeboats today. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Somebody just Whoa. got. A, did somebody just get in a cannonball on the Titanic? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm blaming Sebo. For that. <laughs> Good bro. Okay, so this is the one lifeboat that'll be functional for the uh, for the sinking. And um, which one? I hope it will be functional. I just started coding them today. I didn't really thoroughly test it yet, but. We're gonna see. It's all part yep. of uh, our, of the testing process. Gotcha. We ball. Okay. So, yeah, um, so this looks it the is same. Now. You can remove the gates and all that stuff. That all looks the same. And I'm, I'm assuming you swing the boat out just like you would on the old version of the game. And Incorrect. 
Incorrect. Incorrect. What? Incorrect. What? Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. incorrect. What do you mean incorrect? <laughs> I changed it. Okay. So I hope it works. Okay. If you proceed to remove the gate and then remove both of the chains from the lifeboat. Okay. By either pressing E or just clicking with your left mouse button. Okay. I got the gate and then there goes the chains. Okay. Chains are gone. Okay. And then we remove yep. the cover. Then I remove the cover. Okay. And then you come over to this handle. Okay. Here. Okay. And click the handle and drag it. Seriously? Spin. This is like some Correct. VR. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, I don't think that was. I don't think I did that right. I think it may be better if you do it in third person. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. That. Okay, this makes more sense. Okay, <laughs> that and makes more there sense. Goes okay, the that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, Space Killer's here. Hi, Space. We were talking about you. I was showing all these guys your Empress animation. Okay, so how far... Do you, is there a way to know when you're at the right area? Like, is there a way to know when it it's... It usually stops, I think. Yeah, stops. Um. so when the animation finishes for the cranking out the lifeboat, okay. it will just stop. Okay. And then there will be... I don't think you finished it yet. Okay, hold on. This is a little... Or you have and it's just broken. I don't know. Oh no, it's still going. There so, go. Ah, there we there go. We go. Ah. <laughs> and it just that dropped. Wow, it just <laughs> dropped. Okay, well, I can see that scaring some passengers. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there goes Cheesy. Okay, Bye, so cheesy. do you have to keep turning? Oh, so at this point, it's automatic. At this point, yeah. it's automatic. Well, well, you have to I stand here on a little two uh, footprints. Ah, to keep the boat lowering this. away. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like this yet, or if it's gonna change on, uh, change later on. But you know what this we'll reminds see. me of the the lifeboat drill that should have been, you know, the drill that was canceled on Sunday. That's what I'm thinking of right now. Yeah, true. But hey, here we are. We're doing it in Titanic SOS, the official drill. We're fixing history. We're fixing it. Um, just 100 plus years late. You know, 110 plus. <laughs> Oh, 100 plus Better late. late than never. Better late than never. Right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Man, this is beautiful. So what other changes we got? What other details have you added and changed and quality of life stuff? You know, I will say this. Add, doing the lifeboats like this will definitely put an end to, like, spammers just showing up and dropping every single boat all at once and, like, ruining role plays and stuff like that. Oh, mm. my God. What? Did the uh, lifeboat break? What just? Uh, whoa! What's what? Did, what is this? <laughs> whoa! 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 whoa. Um, what just happened? I think you. I think you'd want to come down to a grand staircase on a B deck. What's okay, ha what's happening yeah. in the grand staircase on B deck right now? What's going uh, on? That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I am definitely concerned. Oh. Whoa! Uh, I'm seeing some graphical uh, yeah. glitches. <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Um, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> um, this is what happened. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Let me just Okay. <laughs> this is accurate. Yeah, that is uh that is 100% accurate. accurate. Well, the design is very human. <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah. So uh, yeah, so that failed. I still have to work on that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so as you can see in the grand staircase and pretty much almost everywhere on the ship, all of the wooden paneling on the walls is all 3D now. Oh, Back really? in there were just textures on the wall. Okay. They've all been 3D modeled. Um, there's some visual bugs going on with the metal railings on the stairs you can see. Have a lot more um, let me show the, stuff. Yeah, let me show the show you the elevators. Okay. I have changed how they work. Okay. Uh, so you come on, on A-deck? Yeah. Okay. Are so you if you go in here. Okay. And you see the elevator dial on your right. Right. If you click it, you can now select which deck you want to travel to. Really? Okay, let's go to D. Bye! Bye! Farewell, guys! Ha <laughs> ha! Later, suckers! Ha 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 ha! You'll never catch me. <laughs> I totally never did that during the live Oh, days. I think the stairs are faster. Oh, they probably are. Probably. Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking I'm of that sure. scene in the movie where Rose and Jack jump in the elevator and then she, uh, and then Lovejoy's chasing them. That's what I'm thinking of right now. Oh, okay. shit. So no, I don't no, know no, if no, any no, of you've yeah. ever done this, but it's one of the more popular things to do in the game is somebody gets in here when it's flooding and sends somebody down below the water. <laughs> <laughs> Just cage them down there. Good luck. Yeah, good luck out there. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow. 
Wow. Um, so Did you guys add, like, uh, the footsteps sound really loud now. Did you guys make an adjustment to that? Oh, I am going to adjust that because it's kind of hurting my ears, too. Can you, uh, can you dial that back a little bit for the stream? Or you'll have to change it later? Uh, I, um, no, I don't think I can change it in game. Otherwise, I'd have to restart the, the, the server. Okay, uh, never the mind game. then. Never mind then. Sorry. All right, we'll we'll figure that out. Yeah. Sorry for the. Or loud we'll just ask sense. everyone to stop walking. Just start hovering. Yeah. <laughs> just start hovering. Start floating. So what about other spaces? So like, uh, what's the, have you done anything to the swimming pool? The swimming pool was pretty much already perfect as it was, or almost perfect. We've. I think we only changed uh, the texture on the swimming pool water. But gotcha, gotcha. Not much was changed there. So the main goal of version 2 is to really bump the performance of the game because I'm sure that many of your uh, viewers who have played Titanic SOS in the past have experienced pretty bad uh, performance. Right. Mainly FPS issues. So my average FPS on version 1.5, that was the last version of Titanic S West, was around 20 FPS. That has now gone up to between 40 and 60 FPS. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's really cool. Just with this change. So we have um, had to remove some unnecessary details and just unoptimized objects that caused a lot of lag. Um, these are going to be added back over time. We've also just replaced and improved uh, old models, like in the Grand Staircase, uh, all of the texture wooden panels on the wall were actually more laggy than the 3D modeled ones. Oh, so we really? decided to go with 3D models because it looks better and it is more uh, optimized. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And then we've got way more gameplay. You can earn money by surviving the sinking. If you're a, li uh, a crew member, you can earn money by uh, setting up the lifeboats, etc. When you're a musician, you can vote for the, the next song. So every time a song ends with the NPC band, the oh, musicians really? in game will get a, a voting menu on which song they want to play. I, I think we've got like seven songs in game so far. Okay. Um, and then with that money, you can buy items from the item shop in the person's office. Over okay, here. I was about to ask you that. Like, I was wondering if it was going to be something similar to like um, I don't know if you've ever played the other Roblox game, Shipwrecked, where they charge you like Roblox dollars or Roblox coins to do stuff, or if this was just in-game money that you earned for playing and stuff. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is just in-game money that you uh, have to play and survive. Just do things for you. So you can buy matches, a newspaper, a working pocket watch, pocket knife, electric torch, and a lighter. And what's, like, do each of these items have a dedicated purpose? Like, something for them? Mm, yeah. Not really. I Like, the matches and the torch and the lighter can light up areas, like, when you're in the dark. The newspaper is just for role-playing purposes, and so is the pocket knife. Alan, the watch will let you know where you are in game time. So I'm assuming the Titanic yeah, checks oh, the yeah, of and all that. <laughs> yes, the pocket watch actually works, and it is synced up to uh, the in-game time. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, is there has there been any revamps to the schedule of the game? Like, does the times and everything still run the same? Like, does the sinking scenario take the same, or anything else like that? The sinking scenario, the sinking sequence takes about one hour now, uh, ah. whereas before it took like 40 minutes just to give players more time to roleplay. Also, the daytime sequence has been extended to 10 minutes instead of three minutes. Okay. And the iceberg sequence has been, um, it's rather slow compared to real life, but that's just to give like the extra suspense and stuff. Ah, okay. So uh, the iceberg sequence is also slowed down for dramatic effects, of course, <laughs> compared to <laughs> the old game. I like the newspaper. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. And oh, yeah, you can actually light a match. Very, very cool. Now, is there still going to be the option of multiple different sinking scenarios? So, like, you'll have um, like the James Cameron run, the National Geographic one, and then the realistic one. Yeah, so instead of doing uh, a vote every time the round starts, we're going to do it completely randomized, so it kind of keeps the players question like, oh, what sinking is this, you know? Because we can even mash up certain sinkings. We could, like, for example, we could do the base sinking animation of the National Geographic 2012 sinking, but then make it break apart like in the movie and stuff. Ah, so I the see. game rounds become very dynamic. Um, and... Of course, like the majority of the game rounds will actually play the accurate animation, which is based on uh, research done by uh, our own research team, our own historical advisors. 
Okay. Gotcha. So it's going to no, be like uh, a little bit of a con. It's going to be an accurate one, but it's going to take elements from all the others. That's what I'm gathering. Yeah, I mean, every thinking takes elements from others, of course. Like, every theory has their correct and their incorrect right, uh, right. elements. Like so, uh, Story Travels, have you, have you turned on the, um, there's like a custom skybox, which you can turn on in the settings, which looks far better. Oh, yeah. Let me just, yeah. What is That's it? a good point. I'm so, on fancy. Sam, if you... In settings, then custom skybox. Uh, custom, custom Titanic. Starbucks. Wait, what am I doing? It's again? on your right. Uh, custom... It's ah, on your right. okay. Is that lighting effects fancy the best one? Custom. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, you can change Titanic. Better. You can change Titanic. Yeah, I, w I was just about to mention that. You can actually change... Um, it's going to be a game pass, so you will have to actually pay for it. But with this feature, you can customize Titanic to your liking. Oh. So if someone wants to make... <laughs> if someone wants to make uh, the Olympic, like, uh, <laughs> after the refit, you can make the, the Grand Staircase uh, that green tone it was. Oh, there starts the oh, okay. iceberg sequence. So, Sebo, our developer, has created an amazing soundtrack for the game, which you will hear in-game. Okay. At certain times, for example, the uh, iceberg sequence. Come see it. Can I see it? And I really hope that okay. the new snow effects work. I think I can see it. Oh. oh, wow, you've got it like, okay, so they're coming straight on, and then... Oh, that is, that's a cool change. And you can see the shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, that is so dope. That is so dope. Uh, <laughs> um, ship says, please don't include the V-break. I don't think that there's going to be a V-break in this. There's not going to be a V-break. <laughs> oh, wow. That is so cool. Is it hard over? Yes, sir, hard over. <laughs> I wanted to get oh, wow, that actually sounded perfect. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, turn, turn. Oh, dude. Oh, to port! Oh. Hold. He's got a <laughs> That no. is so cool. And right now, uh, Jack and Rose would have just stopped kissing. And then they look over the side. I don't know if you've ever seen that deleted scene, but Molly Brown's in the um, in the lounge goes, hey, Sonny, how about a little ice? And then the iceberg floats behind her. Oh. That's a deleted wow. scene. I've never seen that before, actually. That's a deleted scene from the movie. Uh, Gallium, $2. Um, we need to have the Kraken theory. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, We're not no. adding the Kraken Please, theory. No, no Kraken. <laughs> That was cool. Now, nope. Do you still have the thing no. where uh, where Frederick Fleet will call in and the phone will ring and all that? Is all that the same? Yeah. Yep. Yep. It just passed, so the game automatically stops the event after the iceberg hit. Gotcha, so gotcha. when the iceberg is spotted, um, the the phone will ring, and then you'll hear Frederick Fleet like, "Hey, there's an iceberg right ahead." That is so. So cool. that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you want to um, make your lighting like darker and stuff, you can go in menu, then settings, and then change the uh, the lighting profiles. I've included some presets, and then you can also make your custom lighting. Okay. And, yeah, and I also, by the way, I, I would uh, recommend a pitch black mode because that is because it looks really nice. Holy cow! So you guys changed the um, the trim and the list and all that. That all shows up in the menu now. That's even different. Yeah, exactly. We've completely rescripted the entire game. This is so cool. And we currently have 160 viewers watching right now. Hi, everybody. Thank you guys wow. so much for tuning in. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Let's see. Uh, I've uh, also announced the stream in my Discord server. Ah, okay. I should have done that in mine. I should have done that in mine. Hang on a second. Uh, currently live stream. Best game with the developers. Wait, can everyone hear me? Yeah, like, everybody can really? hear me now. Everybody, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. live. You are uh, live. Yeah, I can okay. hear you. You are live. You are live. Okay. And okay, we might have to enable some restrictions in the chat. But thanks, Ismay, for catching the spammers. <clears throat> All right. So what's next? What are we gonna take a look at next? Oh, right, the lighting conditions. That's right. That's what we went to take a look at. So you said you changed. So you, you recommended on which one? Just dark. Or what do you recommend? No, because uh, I recommended black. pitch black, yeah. 
It's under it ambience. Really nice. uh, ambience. It's under ambience. Okay. And then ambient color. Whoa, that's bright. <laughs> Whoa, that is really bright. Okay, uh, because you can um, that's go up. That's the custom lighting. Yeah. So you can design your lighting a different ambient color. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay. But pitch black is a preset under ambience. Yeah, so if you go back and... Uh, Why does it keep brightening up again? I just hit reset to default. Whoops. I think it's... You might just have to click the cancel button on the radio screen. Uh, whoa, yeah, yeah, uh, that didn't work. On the color wheel. <laughs> whoa, that is uh, <laughs> that is bright. Okay, settings. Yeah. Uh, ambient uh, on the right. Yeah, it's when you, no, we go it's back. It's, it, it, it's just below that one. There's nothing under yeah, this. Yeah, it's below that. One. There's nothing under there. There's yes, a, there is. There's there's, there's wait, no go button. Go back to. Wait, wait, no, hold on. Go back. It's the middle button on the right of the menu when you first open it. Uh, ah. Oh. What's happening here? Uh, reset the default, and then it. See what I'm. See what I'm doing. I hit reset the default, and it just brightens up again. Yeah. Is that, um. Is just click save, so it exits you out of the menu. Okay. There we go. Close menu. Okay. Now everything is super bright. Then hold on. So, so, so on the middle button on the right side of that menu, you should. And you should be able to click that until you see pitch black. Yeah. Middle button on the. Right no, no, side. no, no. Go. Go <laughs> you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. The other one. The one beneath that. Yeah, the one yeah beneath but what? That. Wait, so, okay. Settings. So, okay, okay, settings. Okay, okay, click button and stop. Click okay. the settings menu and stop and go to the right side when you see. Uh, Above custom Starbucks, where it says ah. ambience and then it says custom 5. Yeah. And then just click that and see. You ah, see gotcha. Sim. Oh, okay. Got it. Ah, pitch black. Okay, there we go. Okay, that meant. Okay, okay. Now I got it. Now I got it. And also, uh, also Sam, um, on your live stream, it's on the um, it's on the Roblox menu, not the game. Say it. So we can't actually see the game. Uh, you can't see the game. I'm confused. What's going on? Huh? What? Ethan, are you okay? What do you mean no, you can't? No, because on the stream you can't uh, you can't actually see the game on his stream. Can you guys see the game on the stream? Uh, I'm watching the stream. I have an arc. I, I can see Ethan, it. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it too. <laughs> Yeah, I can see it just fine. Oh, 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 I have actually, oh, I can do it because I'm not, um, my, my um, stream isn't up. I can see it, yeah. Yes, my everybody bad. can My bad. <laughs> okay, everybody can see it. Yes, I can see it. Yes, I can see it. My fault, that's, yeah, that's my fault. Good job. <laughs> okay. So this is more true. Whoa, okay, the ship is listing now. I can see the list. Okay, we are currently a uh, three degree list to starboard. Okay. So does the ship still yep. roll and everything in the same way that it did in reality? Is all that still the same? <clears throat> Yeah, this thing here is based on our own research. So, um, I can't remember the exact angles, but Titanic did take on more severe angles than uh, most of the mainstream um, generally accepted theories okay. want to make you believe. Okay. Like, the port list was way more than 90 degrees. It was way more. I can I, I think it hit like 15 degrees at some point based on survivor testimonies. Oh, really? That I've never and that is ca calculated from like the distance between the ship and the lifeboats when they were dangling out and stuff. Okay, we have so, water yeah. in the mail room. I'm in the mail room. There is water flooding the mail room. So, let me find you real quick. How does um how does the hypothermia thing work? Because in the previous game, if you swam in the water for what five seconds or whatever, it gave you hypothermia. Is that the same? Yeah. Um, so now if you go in the water, it will give you the hypothermia effect, but when you leave the water, the hypothermia effect will fade away, so you no longer have to drink uh, tea and stuff for it, so you're no longer dependent on uh, stewards handing out drinks. Which never stuff. happens. So never there, happens. <laughs> yeah, so it's no more guaranteed death if you step in the water for too long. Gotcha, gotcha. Do the watertight doors. Ah, that's exactly what I was about to ask. Okay. And... Uh, um, I think I just, uh, I think I just killed myself. Uh-oh. Guys, help! Help! Wait, did you really? Help! Help! Did you close the help! Help! Um, uh, yeah, help! I think you stuck. Oh. <laughs> Guys, help! <laughs> yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> so, I don't know if you know this, but this is a common joke that people do in your all's game, where they, uh, yeah. they lock people. They lock people downstairs. Yeah. So in 30 seconds you'll be open. You'll be able to open. So that's how it works. That's the time. It's 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It has a cooldown, so you don't people you don't have people spamming the uh, thing. We're gonna set for. Right, I'm gonna have the lights set for default just so it's a little bit brighter for everybody. Uh, we got a five dollar yeah. super chat from Nord. Nord says, "Hi Sam. It looks extraordinary. Uh, could you ask them what major rooms have been added?" 
Are there any new uh, spaces in the game or anything new like that different? At this moment, there's no new spaces added. We've just optimized everything so the game runs a lot smoother. Uh, if I look at my FPS right now, it's um, fluctuating between 40 and 60 compared to the 20 FPS I used to get on the old Titanic SOS. Gotcha. Um, we are going to add the second class staircase, the forward one, that ends up on boat deck mm. uh, after V2 is out, but really have to like kind of see what performance allows for us because we don't want to end up with a game that runs like trash again. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, the game didn't like give yourself some credit. The game didn't run bad. I mean, everybody loved it. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, mean I, there were the performance sort of issues that we talked about, but it was still very playable. You think so? Oh. For me, it was very annoying to play. Really? I didn't have that much. Yeah, after some time. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah, the new um, got very, uh... the steam venting from the funnels. So yeah, you were telling me earlier that you changed the uh, the sound of the steam venting a little bit. You added some new details yes, to that. Yes, So it's not as high pitched because that was just super annoying. <laughs> So it is a bit more low pitch now, it has some more bass to it, just so it sounds... I mean, it's still loud, but it's just not obnoxious, where you want to... To the point where you want to turn off your sound, because that's not what we want, of course. Right, right. Gotcha. That is so cool. And I see you've got the detail right. The first three funnels are venting, and the fourth funnel's not. That's really cool, you got that detail. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yep. Who uh, who okay. listened to Light Toller's orders and opened up the gangway doors? Who did that? Who did that? Is uh, uh that may have been me. I'm hoping so. <laughs> yeah, Ethan, it's your fault. All right, have Ooh. you have you have you been hanging out with Charles Jowkin? You've been hanging out with Charles Jowkin. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Everybody talks about him now. He's like one of their uh, favorite characters. <laughs> I don't blame them. Oh yeah. Um, it was in a um, in a Titanic Honor and Glory stream from a long time ago. Uh, Mike Mike Brady, uh, Tom Linsky said that, and it, it's just been a joke that I heard, and I've always been running with it. But Charles Jalkin, one of the Titanic's greatest heroes, made it his mission that the ship would sink with as little alcohol on board as possible. <laughs> oh, that's a true man of honor. That's it. Wait, so wait, I know you were talking about the aft grand staircase. Is that in the game yet? Because I'm in the lounge, and I'm looking aft through that door that you couldn't see through before. But I can actually look down that hallway. I can't go in, but I can look um, down the hallway. That corridor no, is just there as a way to get out of the lounge when it's flooding, because before there was no exit except right. through the grand staircase. Okay. Yeah, the true. aft grand staircase is not there, but the corridor is. Okay, gotcha. Are you all planning to add that at some point? Um, if performance allows. Gotcha. And I'm pretty that's, that's sure really right around here, like right in this area that I'm looking at right now, this was the general area where the ADAC pantry was, and that's where Charles Jalkin was getting a drink when the bridge was going under. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, so he was in the pantry. I mean, uh, crap me if I'm wrong, he had chat. His priorities straight. Yeah, crap me if I'm wrong, yeah. chat, but it was right around here, right? The ADAC pantry, it was right around here, I'm pretty sure. But <laughs> I'm not sure actually. I should have to ask Thomas Andrews, our uh, historical advisor. Thomas Andrews, your historical advisor. Yes, uh, Ismay Ragdoll says I don't know probably. <laughs> ragdoll and free cam isn't worth. Wait, do you have a dedicated ragdoll button? Is that a dedicated thing? Press R. I'm afraid to. All oh, that. <laughs> okay. All oh, that. Okay. And how do I stand up? I I, I just press um, R again. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ah, so that's right. No, right no. Oh, okay. Hey, guys, I want to show you something. This was something that I did not know about when I first played this game, but I know that many of you who played this game will do this. Let's say you want to go from the boat deck and you want to go down to E deck, okay? Cannonball Book! You cannot do that anymore. <laughs> you cannot do that. You didn't make it. That's going to piss a lot of people off. <laughs> Historic Travels felt his death at 12.02 a.m. <laughs> You didn't make it. <laughs> uh, Jonas, no. <laughs> oh, look at the chat. <laughs> Fall damage. Aww. Someone is mourning you already. Historic Productions, why did they? <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> uh, rest in spaghetti from Alfredo. <laughs> guys, we are at 197 viewers. That is awesome. Glad you guys wow. are enjoying. That is awesome. Thank you all for being here. Okay, you can really see the list now. I'm in the main menu, and we can really, really see the list now. 
Yeah. So about what time uh, did the ship start to roll to uh, roll to port? When did that start? Late. Um, about the time that um, E-Deck started flooding. No. So that was when water started pouring into D-Deck. I believe I don't remember the time stamp. So wait, wait, wait. I, I just found something by accident. I'm at the stern. You guys added cling to the ship. You can cling. Yep, yeah. we did. <laughs> Yeah, so basically you can monkey bar in many places now. So when the ship breaks and the stern goes vertical, you can actually hang from so many different items. You can hang from vents, from capstans, from bollards, from uh, the railings, of course. So you can really grab onto just about everything in your vicinity. Okay, wait. I want to try to. I'm gonna try to imitate. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to replicate Rose from the movie. Uh oh. There we go. Yep, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Oh boy. I, repl I replicated uh, when Rose met Jack. Yep. You uh, well, this, jump to him. This doesn't Can't look do quite this. right, but <laughs> this doesn't look quite right. It's like, uh, actually, it's like, look, I'm surfing Titanic. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your head, your head is bobbing there. <laughs> <laughs> can, uh, can somebody help me? Can somebody help me? I, I'm not sure. I think that if you jump that you just fall down i'm i'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure if i let go i'm gonna fall so um can somebody help me just, hold on i'm on my way okay can somebody uh, I'm over ah. here. <laughs> uh no. don't do it sam don't you let go nerd says uh is jack gonna rescue you <laughs> i have no idea guys guys just just I need somebody to take care of my dog oh, there he goes <laughs> he jumps Good luck. Did he, did he really jump? Yeah. Wait, did, did, did I jump or was that, or did, did I actually jump oh, off? Or? Oh, wow. Man overboard. There. Man overboard. Oh, I He's see gone. you guys took the, uh, you guys took the three. All right, so I know you're all's viewing the, the, the Titanic Center Blade have three or four props. The, the, the Correct, three, yeah. Yeah, I, know, I agree with the three blades. Okay, so how long does it take me to die? Oh, I see my, I see my life thing. I see my life thing going Yeah, down. that's your oxygen bar down there. He didn't make it. Why am I the only one that's dying? Okay, are you guys trying something? <laughs> Historic travels You're just not good at surviving the Titanic, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Historic travels first to death at 1214 p.m. Also, right. by the way, if you want to reset, you have to do that in the menu. In, 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 um, instead of going to the settings, ah, the okay. Roblox settings, you have to do gotcha. it in the main menu. Gotcha. Okay, I'm back. I'm back on board. There you go. Cool, cool. So, yep, so I can definitely tell that the sinking is taking longer, like what you guys said. It is currently 12.15 a.m. on the Titan. So what is, Correct. so is it guaranteed this is game is going to be released on the 8th? Is that right? Yes. Yes, we have really set a hard uh, release date for March 8th. So that is next Friday on 5.30 p.m. GMT. Gotcha. That is when this game will come out. Um, SJ says, will game passes from the older version transfer over to version 2? So if they bought things from yes. version 1. Yes. All of your game passes will save, they will transfer over, transfer over, so you don't have to double spend money on this game. Gotcha. Also, Sam, if you come down to the lower decks, you will start hearing the, the groaning effects. We've added some new sound effects and some new lighting effects to the game, and okay. I think you'll really enjoy it. On my way. On and my it might way. just freak you out. And it might just freak me out. You want to freak me out, don't you? <laughs> I, dude, you have no idea how much I have to resist the urge of just jumping down. Like, I can't tell you how many times I yep. just jump to the bottom yep. of the ship and I have to resist it. So. Uh, wait, uh, side don't question. Jump. What the happens to the purser office dude when uh, this area floods? Does he just stand there? Or does he leave? Or He goes down with the ship. <laughs> he yeah, just... he goes down with the He's... He's very loyal, you know? Also, oh, we're just going to be in here, and we're just going to watch this dude smiling as water <laughs> is coming. <laughs> yeah, he's happy with his job. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. He likes his job. Um, it pays so well. In the final game, the person's office will close after 11 p.m., as it did in real life. Okay. So then it will be open for players to just roleplay there and do whatever uh, players do. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, wow, I can hear that. I can hear the ship groaning. Well, there goes the pool. <laughs> there goes the pool. You've already died three times. You have su you have survived zero rounds. Okay, okay. You know what? Look, it's not my fault, okay? It's the water's fault, okay? It's the water. Oh, yeah. It's the water's fault, of yeah, course. The also, the... What's up? You just fell too hard, you know? Like, mm. the ground shouldn't have been that hard. <laughs> 
I love the sound effects you've got in the uh, Scotland Road. Like when you walk forward, you can. Oh wow. These were provided yeah. by Chris. I just hate them. I mean, I love them. <laughs> wow, it's like you, the water. Did you all change the water? It looks more realistic to me. Yeah, we did there's change foam. the water. <laughs> there's foam. Yeah, there's water foam now. Gotcha, gotcha. That is so cool. Hey, um, Ethan, are you still here? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. um, so guys, just so you all know, Ethan is actually a member of Ocean Liner's designs team, and he is doing work for uh, with Mike Brady on the upcoming uh, the Grand Voyage game, or I forget what it's exactly called, but it's the game that's got the Empress of Ireland. He's doing some work with that. Yes. So Super got... talented. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, that oh, is eerie. Right that is eerie. Just watching the water coming down the corridor. Nord5, thank know, you so right? much. He says, if you can fall and die, can you break a bone from a shortfall? Also, this game is three times better than version one. Thank you so much, and that's a question for the team. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, when um, you so jump you... from a certain height, you automatically ragdoll, so that's yeah. as close as we can kind of get to that. So when the stern goes vertical and you fall, you'll just ragdoll and keep ragdolling down until you hit the water. So, like, um, that really helps with the... That's basically a feature where if you lose your grip on the stern, you're, there's no way for you to, to survive that. Like, it's, it's harder now. Whoa, I and also, Seb, uh, when, you, I heard like, Seb, when you fall, you should add just a massive a, a puddle of blood. Oh, yeah. Just, puddle like, of blood. Just, just like, just like blood extreme, like, just extreme gore with, like, bones coming up your legs. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, wow. I guarantee you that if you did that, there's going to be a ton of people that are just going to cannonball from the top deck and splatter here. <laughs> cannonball! I guarantee you that's going to happen. I guarantee it. Okay, hang on. Let's My legs! Is the first what's off is still open in this version at this time? Yes, okay. So I am going to go ahead and grab... Uh, good day. Good day, sir. How are you? Uh, Where is... Oh, why can't I... Uh, where's my torch? So, my torch is not visible here. So, it says, very fine choice. I bought oh. the torch, but it's not showing on my thing. Whoops. That's a bug. <laughs> That's a bug. That's not supposed to happen. What's the purpose of the well, knife? Yeah, blame what's, Atlas for that. What's the knife do? Huh? The knife. It's, uh, it's, it's like mainly just for roleplay purposes. Ah, okay. okay. So, like, so what, like, they cut the falls. Kind of so, oh, so. Like, uh, you doing that. Or you could, um, stop people once and... That's Whoa, a, I just saw the lights. Yeah, you can stab you. Yeah. 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 The lights do dim occasionally. Um, this will look very good if you're on the pitch black lighting mode. Okay. And of course the lights will die out one by one uh, when they go when when the water approaches it. Alright, we're gonna go to pitch black just to see this. Uh let's see. Temperate also works. Temperate is kind is like kinda of visible still, but pitch black is just pitch black. Yeah. It'll really go black. Okay. You know, what I get, the, so you said that that one mode can like really change Titanic. You can change the colors and like do all this stuff. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of wacky Titanic pictures showing up on. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but like, let's, let's say if you want to make, uh, if you want to make like an Olympic with the green staircase, you can do that now. You can make the staircase that, uh, okay, like wait. swampy green that it was. Okay, hang on. We are going to do this. We're going to check this out right now. Alright, so we're like, going uh, to... I don't know why we would ever do that. It looks so hideous. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's setting. did. Alright, so... Uh, I wait, mean, where was it, it didn't look terrible, but... Mm. Uh, yeah, it was not terrible. Nope. Menu... Wrong button. Uh, settings... Okay. Now you gotta go back to Pitch Black again. Titanic. Oh, shoot. It's on the left. Top left. Yeah, <laughs> you did it you. again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Alright, all right. Ambient. Here we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then uh, where was it again? The menu's where was uh, top it? Left. Top left. Customized Titanic. Ah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay. Customized Titanic. Okay. We're going to make the oak all green. Okay. Apply. Whoa! <laughs> That's actually how it looks. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> right. It wasn't that uh, green. <laughs> uh, no, that, what do you mean? That's exactly how it looks. Was this what oh, it yeah, looked like on the... Uh, <laughs> Olympic <laughs> SOS is real. Uh, Gala yeah, says, OMG, Gala. my eyes. Uh, Olympic 1930. <laughs> yep. Okay, so let's go outside right now. We're going to go outside and let's see what we can do to 
Let's see what we can do to Titanic, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, menu. Uh, settings. Customize Titanic. Okay. We're going to make the decks uh, purplish pink. We're going to make the funnels uh -oh. uh, blue. Uh, Anti-fouling will be yellow. The hall will be blood red. And uh, oh my God. we're going to do... Uh, Beautiful. We're gonna do uh, like okay. We're gonna do that. All right. Apply. All right. Here we go. Let's see how this looks. I should, I should ban you for this. Oh <laughs> <my God. laughs> what have I done? What have I done? That's glorious. Bacon says, bro. <laughs> uh, Tony says, oh. <laughs> North says, uh, O M G. I lost my brain cells. Ship says, I'm crying. <laughs> Uh, Tree says reset the default now. Uh, Fishy says I should ban you for this. <laughs> I should ban you for this. Too. Okay, 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 okay. Enough torturing. Let's. <laughs> All right, menu settings. Uh, let's see here, and I can just I just set it for default. Yeah, just reset it to default and set the enemies to pitch black, and then come down to D deck. Okay. That's gonna be something cool. Okay. There you go. Wow, that's really let you see how dark it was that night. Holy crap. Yeah, exactly. Because the only light sources um, now are that of Titanic itself. There's no more ambient light. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, EDEC is completely gone now. Whoa! Uh, not everything reset. Uh, not uh -oh. everything. Not, <laughs> okay. not everything Just reset. Re uh, Go to menu again, to the customize Titanic in menu, uh, customize the Titanic menu, and just reset it again. Um, there are some bugs there we in go. chunks. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. <laughs> you broke it. OMG. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Okay. Back to Titanic. All right, back to it. The game didn't like this color. All right, I'm down in the reception room. What am I... So when this area starts flooding, okay. um, the lighting effects will get like worse, like Titanic's power outages will start progressing. Uh, let's see, this area of uh, the deck is already flooding. Yeah, okay, I see the And uh, then you're going to see something. Flooding. Oh yeah, okay, I see it. So the uh, the list is start. Uh, the trim is starting to even out. Yeah, one degree yep. versus starboard, okay. So in your all's uh, opinions, okay, how much longer do you think Titanic would have lasted? Because Andrews gave it about an hour to an hour and a half, and we know that he didn't take into account the weight shift due to the 300 tons from the... Whoa. There goes the lights. Okay, that is really... <laughs> on pitch black, that is eerie. But... <clears throat> exactly. Yeah, Andrews didn't think uh, take into account that 300 ton shift from the coal fire. How much longer do you think Titanic could have lasted if Lightoller hadn't left the D-Deck gameway door? Because um, that did I greatly mean, it, accelerate the singer. It's hard to say how much longer it would have lasted, but of course, if the D-Deck door was closed at the time, then there was one less uh, opening for water. So, I mean, realistically, maybe it would have stretched out the singer by like an hour, no, uh, half an hour maybe. Okay. Like tops. As I remember tops. hearing somewhere that the open gangway door was, uh, I can't open it. It was um, it was bigger than all of the iceberg damage combined. Like, I mean, the iceberg damage Correct. was more widespread, but it was a bunch of small punctures, whereas the gangway door was just one massive opening. Exactly. Yeah. So that really was detrimental to Titanic's sinking pace. Um, but may, who knows? Maybe Titanic would have capsized if the D deck door didn't open. Who knows? Because I read something that if the the coal fire uh, or the coal bunker fire never happened and they didn't transfer all the coal over to huh? uh, titanic's port what? side which caused a three degree three degree list port yeah that's why then that's titanic why that happened was because of the coal completely fire. different you've heard a completely different yeah. thing yeah i think uh, i heard that if they didn't shift all the coal to one side then titanic would have taken on a uh, way worse starboard list and may have tipped over oh yeah oh that's yeah that's something i've read yeah, that's correct. So the, um, they discussed that in a THG podcast years ago with called Miracles of the Titanic, that by shifting that coal, it offset the weight of the water coming in just enough to keep Titanic stable-ish. You know, stable-ish. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, um, if the D-Deck door really remained closed, who knows what would have happened? Maybe it would have stayed afloat for a half an hour longer. Maybe it would have... 
uh, sunk like half an hour earlier. Right. The Titanic is just one of those, because I mean, seriously, if you think back, how many ships capsize when they sink? And how many ships sink like Titanic did, you know, more or less? Uh, Titanic was such a unique sinking. I mean, a ship that took three hours to sink, that was wow. Right. Because Titanic is one of the first ships, if I recall correctly, is one of the first ships to introduce the watertight door system. Um, um like I don't it's a very believe so. Far I think, exit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. The Lusitania and the Mauritania had them. Uh, Lusitania could handle two watertight compartments and not flood, or not sink. Yeah, but it, it was a fairly new concept, the watertight doors. Like, it, oh, also the soundtrack by Sebo uh, is starting now. This is the I Can't Leave You Behind soundtrack wow. for Titanic SOS. So is this a custom thing, or am I going to get copyrighted when I put this on? When no, this, this is this is this is custom. Unless okay. we copyright strike you, which we won't, then we won't <laughs> have you. any. Issues. This is all. <laughs> Thank you. This is all by uh, the incredibly talented Sebo. So you guys actually got like musicians. You hired musicians to work on this. Yeah. So Sebo initially started here as just a Blender modeler. He made the Amazing Lounge, for example. And um, he proposed to make a soundtrack for Titanic, and he showed a preview of uh, something he was just playing around with. And I was like, wow, this sounds amazing. Will, this will really elevate the atmosphere of the game. Wow. So, um, yeah, basically we agreed to make a soundtrack for the game, and my god, is it amazing. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> I fantastic. I just love it. Like, this is so eerie, and you can hear the It is ominous. It is super ominous. You guys are going to make, like, oh, dude. Okay, okay, I think, okay. So, question. I bumped into this chair. This chair moved. It moved. Is indeed, this yes. stuff going to start floating? It is yes. going to start Surprise. floating. Surprise. Surprise. Holy. Okay. Um. Someone in chat just when he discovered physics. <laughs> hey, <laughs> in games, physics. games having physics, Roblox, like, that's... Discovery. That is so cool. So, you, basically, this you all recreated. Like, have you ever seen the old THG animation where they have like this yep. flooding and everything lifts up? Oh, I watched that video so many demo times as well. The old flooding demo from like 2015 or something. Oh, you've got that? You've got that? Yeah, I have played that before. I never. I, can you still download that? I never downloaded it. Uh, I forget where I downloaded it, but I yeah, I did download it from somewhere. It was like a couple years ago. I still have so the file. Okay, so maybe I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. Well, no, I definitely am. But does anything, did you all change anything with the physics of the fourth funnel after the breakup? Yes, we actually um, adapt to the theory that the fourth funnel stayed on the ship after the breakup. Ah, uh, you got and then that? Kind of slammed back. Yeah, so it, um, we adapted the theory that it slammed back into the ship when the stern was rising. I'm not sure how I feel about it personally, oh, really? but it is a generally accepted theory, and it might change. Everything is still subject, subject to change, but we'll see how it all goes. Gotcha. Yeah, that was, um, there was a survivor, I forget his name, but he was hanging onto the stern, and he said that the fourth funnel fell when the water, it's like the new Titanic Honor and Glory animation. Have you seen it in that, like how they depicted it falling? I have seen it. I have not seen the full thing, but I have seen the stern, uh, or the, the fourth funnel uh, bit of it. And I believe it was Jack Thayer who made the claim about the fourth funnel, and someone else, but I forgot his name. There we go, and then it was like... Alright, so I'm gonna pull it up on the stream real quick. So I'm, I've got the uh, Titanic Honor and Glory uh, animation, and the way that they depicted it in that, here it is. So the water comes up to the base of the fourth funnel, and oh, I see it past it, right there, and it falls back as soon as the water hits it. Is this kind of how you guys have it depicted? Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of due to the rush, like the, the forward momentum of the stern, uh, people now believe that the, the fourth funnel was pushed aft. Back, gotcha. like it slammed back onto the boat deck, and then gotcha, it just gotcha. uh, completely detached from its base. I see. Okay. 
He said shortly before, uh, Tremor Thomas Dillon from Mateo, uh, he said it, it uh, shortly before he jumped, it canted upwards towards him, so it, like it rolled back. That's what he said happened. Okay. I'm not sure completely. I haven't read the full thing, but uh, it was advised to me that I uh, animated that way. Uh, Gilbert says YouTube showed him an ad right when I pulled up the <laughs> terrible Sponsored timing. Sponsored by THD. Ter terrible timing, terrible timing. Okay, I can really see the list now. Now, when does the music stop? Does that happen later? Like, in the, like you'll hear Near My God CD and all that during the final stages. Is all that the same? Yeah. So at 2 a.m., the band moved outside to the port side of the ship um, next to the first class staircase entrance. They played Near My God Thee. We believe it was the Horbury version, so we added that one into the game. Uh, and is then that they... the Methodist one, or is it a different uh, version? Is that... I'm sorry? Is that the Methodist one, the one that you said? I haven't heard it called that. Is that... Uh, no, it was the, the Horbury version. I'm not familiar with that one, then. I thought it was like the Methodist. Oh. That's what they said. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, there's many different versions. Pretty much a version in the night to remember. Like, okay, like, alright. Oh, I... I'll learn something new. I thought that there were only three versions of Near My God CD. I didn't know there were others. I'm not sure about all the versions of Near My God CD 2. I never really uh, went in depth on that. I personally, this may piss some people off, but I don't really like the song. Get out. What? Yeah. What? All right, sorry, Get man. Get okay, out. I'll, I'll just leave. leave. Get out. Leave, leave right now. Go away. So I did a video trying to figure out the legend of Near My God to Thee, like to, to like find the claims of it, find out what really happened. And based on what I found, because there were some people, you know how there were some people that said that they could hear Autumn, and there were other people that said they heard Near My God to Thee. It looks like yeah. it was both. So from because one survivor said that she heard uh, Autumn be played. And then right after that, it was Near My God CD. So like that was their next to last, and then Near My God was their final. And that would explain why some people said, I heard this, or I heard this. Yeah. I mean, of course, it also had to do with like the panic that was starting to like, break right. out right. around the ship. Like, when it really starts hitting the fan, you don't really pay attention to the music anymore. Like, you're just, you either know you're going to die, and stuff like that's all that's all that goes through your mind just like wow right. i really gotta start running oh, can that. you imagine being at this point so this is insanely cool like just watching the the furniture float up and it, okay wait 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 wait. can i do this can i do this hang on like i need a chair okay can i save the chair can i save the chair oh probably not probably not <laughs> probably not okay i need to get out of here <laughs> whoa i can't see nothing <laughs> holy Okay. Yep, FYI, guys, we have hit 220 win. viewers on the stream. We have hit 220. Wow. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Glad you guys yeah, are I here. I like the chairs phasing through the like, ceiling. They come with the seat in. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. They come. Aw, oh, dude. Yeah, there's still some stuff to be fixed, too. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, that's all your fault. So is this the first ever yeah, public cool. look at the game? The new version. Um, we have there's done some tests. Yeah, there's been, there's been some public tests. I, I think there's only been three, but this is uh, far more updated than the ones we have done. This has all the features and the floating furniture and the, just so much. Like um, the previous test that we've done was solely based on the performance, testing how well it runs on people's devices. Gotcha. So, oh, so a chair when, just phased through the ceiling. When you're making this uh, game, because you know that Roblox is on a bunch of different platforms, like you can play it on phones and all that stuff. Does will that does that impact performance at all? Like, do you have to plan for that? Like a version for phone, a version for computer, or is it kind of just the same I have, thing? I have played this version of the game on my iPhone, and it runs very well. Really. Super smooth, yeah. Okay, so to all you people out there that are playing Roblox on the phone, you should be in good shape. You should be in really... Okay, I can already see... Okay, the whistle. This is going to be spammed like you don't even believe. <laughs> like people... There is a 10 second delay. I hope it suffices. In uh, in Shipwreck, people walk around with pistols all the time. Like, I walk around here, bang, 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 bang. Come like, back. Come back to the ship. Yeah, 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 exactly. Come, come back. back come back to the ship. Uh, Nord says it will be spanned. Yeah. Yeah. 235 viewers right now, guys. Well, wow. 
So to all of you who are new here, this is this is the a newest uh, Titanic game from the incredible team Maritime Interactive. Uh, they had an old version called Titanic SOS that was on their uh, Roblox server for what? Hey, how long was SOS version one available? How long was it up? Um, the V1.5 was up for two years. All right. And I just recently took it down so I can start transferring over uh, the update and start preparing everything. That is. Did you guys, okay, seriously, did you guys just see that? Like, when the lights dim and then the blue glow coming through the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, so, we hey, really guys, like everybody in the chat, what do you all think of these upgrades? Like, what do you what do you think of all this? Alfredo, that was awesome. Uh, Jonas says, save the purser. Oh, yeah, we do need to save the purser. Okay, buddy, listen, we uh, have to go. We have to go. We have to leave. He doesn't want to. I've tried. You tried. Oh, wait, hang on. We need to see outside the ship. Um... And, and also, guys, the uh, the bridge is nearly about to touch the water. Holy she crap. is nearly about to go now. Wait, oh. the uh, water is touching the bridge. Water's on the apex promenade. Ne nearly. Yeah. There's like a good like two two okay. feet left. Water. So on the you're apex. Um, when the final plunge starts, another soundtrack will play, okay. created by the incredibly talented Sebo. Once again, uh, you shout out, just amazing. Okay. So, um, I just noticed you had the band here for a minute. There was AI of the band. Is the band actually changing positions? Yes, it moves throughout the daytime in the sink, and now they're playing near my gut to be. Holy crap. On the port side of Titanic. You shouldn't have been able to stop. They're also immune to the uh, 14 degree port list. <laughs> Guys, I am just absolutely blown away. I am. I am. <laughs> you I'm guys. I'm very glad to hear that. You guys are going to make a lot of people very happy. Uh, Sunset says, oh, wow, I'm this is incredible. Sure. Dustin says, salute to the band. Okay, this is. Um, Sam, you may want to switch over your lighting mode to either temperate or default because it's going to get dark now due okay. to the, uh, the red shifting okay. of the lights. Right, just so the so we can the see viewers it. can see what's going on. Uh, ask about. Oh, did you guys add the Turkish bass? Somebody asked that. Not yet. Look at that. That is. Can you guys imagine? Like everybody watching this, can you imagine being on the ship at this time and seeing this happening? This. This is also right around the time that um, Jack Phillips and Harold Bride would have been uh, sending out the last messages or trying to. Captain Smith would have already released them. And uh, Harold Bride was screaming at Jack, uh, didn't you hear the captain? We have to go. The water's coming and he's not listening. Yeah. Oh, wait, actually change your lighting profile to temperate. That's just going to give it that. It's still going to be visible, but it's still super eerie. Ah, there we go. I think that's uh, perfect. I made it so it's wow. kind of like that in that. between. Awesome. Also, uh, guys, by the way, the bridge ring is submerging now. Bridge, All is right. bridge wing is going out. It's every man for himself. There she goes, guys. Here we go. It's coming. It's coming. Dustin, lighting is on point. 100%. 100%. And this would have been the time that uh, collapsibles A and B, they would have been working on those. And this is also the time where Smith would have told Andrews, we can't stay any longer. She's going. Correct. And they jump. Okay, so wait, wait, guys. More serious question. What is happening to the potato room? We have to save the potatoes. We have to save yes. the potatoes. I am so sorry to announce that we have removed the No! Room. You got rid of the potato room! <laughs> The potatoes, there were 400 potato models in that room. We really had to cut down on you the You cut ladder. the potatoes! What? No, uh, North says, you monster! <laughs> no, we need them! Potatoes. <laughs> Look okay, at the chat! Uh, <laughs> Chip says, I will never forgive you! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wish that we could compensate for that with the new features, but I just see that the potato room is way too long. I will try to work on something to make it less likely and edit back, but <laughs> hey, I'll try my best. Hey guys, uh, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna try this. Do you think in the real sinking, the elevator would still be working? Let's find out. Nope, and I really don't recommend it because the final plunge is about farewell. to start right now. <laughs> farewell! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, okay, right, there oh, it goes. She's going. She's there going. There we go. go. She's going now? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm getting in the elevator. I'm coming up. Get out. I'm coming up. I'm coming up right now. You're gonna miss it. 
what's happening right now. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Okay, oh, listen to that music. Once again, soundtrack made by the incredible Sebo. Guys, I have no words. This is just, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. And thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to come here and check this out. Of course. This is so cool. It just, it's really important for us to get um, feedback and stuff. I can tell you this, like, have you ever heard of the old game uh, Adventure at a Time? I have, but I've never played it. Okay, so that's all I had when I was a kid. And if I had this yeah, when that's... I was a kid, <laughs> <laughs> oh my! You would God. have to be dragged from away from your computer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, I can't. Oh. See. oh, oh no! You guys got the rotation. You guys got the shift. Did I just see that? Yep. Yep. She's even. Wait. Um. Uh, we need. We need to go out. We need. We out. It's plunging. We need to start running. Okay, I, She's I'm in the grand staircase. Should I get out of here? Probably. Yes. Does the dome okay, implode? Does the dome implode? Swim. No, the, the dome does not implode yet. Ah. Oh. That's all we're missing. Okay. I really recommend you to go outside. Now, Sam, the first funnel is going. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, you got the new sounds. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Okay, we need to run like right now because the breakup is imminent. We need to run like right now. I can't wait to see the breakup. So, is this is it a similar thing to when the ship breaks that people like all the players that are standing on they're not clean they'll go flying in the air like last time? Uh, that's a Roblox issue. That is unfortunately kind of <laughs> okay. out of our reach, but <laughs> we're gonna see. T, uh, TRC says, the new look of the ship looks so well done, and I love the Titanic. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so Bale says, I got an ad right now. <laughs> Terrible timing oh for an ad. God. Okay, is the power failing? No, not yet. Almost. There go the propellers. Propellers are rising up out of the water. Oh my gosh. Power's failing. Oh, we lost somebody. All right, everybody still there? We're still alive. Okay, yep. we lost somebody. All right, I'm going to I roll run. well. All right, we need to run. We need to run, but I don't want to. I don't want to miss the breakup. I oh, love the go. lights, like the lights dimming, coming on and off, on and off. That is so cool. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, there, uh, go, there goes the, go the funnel. You added the sparks and fire that Jack Thayer testified about. <laughs> Alright, she's going now, guys. We really gotta start running. Alright. I don't wanna miss the breakup. I'm in free cam mode. Yep. Highly recommend going in free cam. Look at the water! Like the, the eerie glow from the, like the surface of the water. I know, right? Bacon says, holy crap, the sparks. Uh, Fishy says, Sam, drink alcohol! <laughs> <laughs> so at this point in time, Charles would have been walking on the aft well deck. As am I. Oh, I put a thing back. Here we go. The lights are out now. The lights are out. Uh, almost. I have not. Almost. What's the final angle of tilt that you guys It's still burning. Uh, is the tea room still in the game? Uh, the lounge area? Yeah, it's still there. It, the lounge area is still visible. Are the parlor suites being added? Uh, ship asked at that. Oh, wait. Well, there she goes. Hold on, guys. We're waiting for the breakup. There she goes. Here it goes. There's 
the chunk of the tower. There's the forward tower breaking off. Oh, I found a glitch. <laughs> Some of the windows are hovering in place. Oh, right. <laughs> Some of the windows are hovering in place. Yep. Okay, I need to run now. Like, I need to run, like, right now before I... As cool as this is to watch, my guy is going to die. So I need to run. Running, 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 running. Okay, okay. Hold on to the railing. Okay, I got to get... I got to stay alive for as long as possible. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm clinging. I'm hanging on. I'm not sure I would hang on in this way in real life, but okay. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. All right, free cam mode again. So I have the lights set to custom, just so you can see what's going on a little more. Right. There we go. And then there goes the fourth funnel. I see it falling backwards. Yeah, so due to the forward momentum of the stern, it kind of slams back into the ship. Right, right, right. That's correct. Bacon says, funnel, please don't fall. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bacon. Uh, the fourth funnel goes perfectly. Dude, the music is incredible. <laughs> the music is incredible. Okay, how's 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 the store travels? Guys, help! <laughs> I'm hanging on. Help! Uh, hey, you up there uh, dancing on the stern? Can you like pull me up or something? Can you like pull me up or something? <laughs> nope. Why not? Every man for himself now. What the? Every man for himself. What are you talking to? I, 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 I can do this. I can do this. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh, I'm Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. Check it out. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> and come on. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay. No. I'm just gonna hang. No. Up. I fell and I ragdolled. Oh, you fell. You fell. <laughs> yeah, I fell. Uh, right, it has now body. been 50 minutes since Four Iceberg minutes. Strike. Yeah, we've been live an hour and seven minutes. That's incredible. All right, in game it is 2.20 a.m. now. I would look, but I can't exactly take out my watch right now. And, uh... Oh, cool, you actually have water blowing up through the, uh, through the cow vents. Yep. Very, very cool. Farewell, cool world. And there she goes. All right, I can let go now. And can I get free, or am I being dragged down with the ship? And I can't break free. Whoop. Um, fare, farewell, for well, farewell. That was the end. <laughs> farewell, cruel world. And that was the end. Rest in peace. That, that was, was the end. end of Titanic. I don't think the game properly resets yet. I'm still Good dying. Job. I'm still drowning. Sam drank lots of alcohol. <laughs> Yep, you're he done. Didn't yeah, I didn't make it to the pantry. I died. Kassor Travels froze to death at 2.21 a.m. How unfortunate. Uh, guys, uh, I think I'm speaking for everyone here when I have to say a round of applause. Like, this is absolutely incredible. Like, everybody that's watching this stream, I think these creators deserve a round of applause. That was absolutely incredible. Let, let them know what you all think. Uh, round of applause. I hope you... I hope you all loved it. That was incredible, guys. Well done, well done. And you will truly love playing this game. <laughs> uh, there, there's no other this. experience like this. Oh yeah, this is this is the best Titanic game I have seen. Yeah, uh, amazing. But can you? <laughs> Thank uh, you, Sam. I appreciate it. Uh, round of applause. Round of applause. Uh, Nord, Nerd says everything is perfect except for one thing. I want the potato room back. <laughs> <laughs> Potato room. I want the potato room. Uh, oh boy. I want the potato room. I'll back. see what I can do. I, I took us out of the game just so there wasn't so much background noise so we could talk. Uh, yeah, understandable. Are there any plans to add the Easter egg that I mentioned to you? The Easter egg. 
Remember what we talked about? I mean, remember what we talked about? Imagine if I just get sued over it, though. I why can would, see why that would you happening. get sued over that with all the way with all the bashing I do with them? I mean, it's fair use. It's fair use. So, do you care if I tell the audience what we talked about? Do you care? No, no, of course not. Okay. So, all right, everybody in the chat, let me know what you think of this. Okay. So, you all, I'm sure many of you have heard of this YouTube channel called Brightside. Have you ever heard of them? Have you ever heard of Brightside? You know, oh, do you, no, not do, Brightside. Do y'all know about Brightside? Do y'all know? Um, do y'all know about Brightside? <laughs> oh Lord, yes. Brightside best channel. Brightside <laughs> is the best channel. Yes, yes. Omg. That's okay. Where we get our references from. Okay, so I had an idea that they could add like a hidden room to the ship. Okay, and if you go in there, you would see a bright side low, a, a bright side light bulb. Okay, and then it would have an interact button. You click it. And then it would have me going, what the heck, bright side? No, that is not how the Titanic sank. What are you talking about? Did not six derp. Like, just have me start raging or something like that. <laughs> and then it auto bans you forever. <laughs> what do you mean? It auto oh, right. That's the best part of the feature. <laughs> uh, Ship says, add it, please. <laughs> best Easter egg. <laughs> Hello, add it, add it, add it. Dustin, my blown uh, genius. <laughs> add it. <laughs> And then one day I just wake up to like a lawsuit of defamation of bright side. And I'm like, oh. It's called fair use. We're allowed. So the definition of fair use is as long as you significantly change the content. And they can't, it's a light bulb. They can't get mad at you out of making a light bulb. <laughs> so. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. It's just like what like yeah, South Park do does. Like when South Park made their Walmart episode, they spelled it with two L's instead of one. So they couldn't get in trouble. Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh wow, you've actually played Britannic SOS. Yeah. That is so old. Yeah, we checked that I out. I've made briefly. that years ago. We checked that out briefly. Some of these games I've looked at and I can't figure out how to play them, but Titanic SOS version. Oh, jazz. What's that? Oh, like this Northeast Corridor. I wasn't sure what I was doing with that. I was like, Fair how enough. do I do this? And uh, Tiny yes, Tiny Sailor like that. World, that one also. I was like, uh. Oh, and Poseidon, this one actually got my video copyright striked because of the music from the movie. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, do, wow. Do you guys want to jump into Britannic real quick? Sure, I'll. Uh, that game is very old. All right, hey, it's hey, everybody, old. everybody that's still in the stream, let's all jump into Britannic real quick. See how many people we can get into the game. Everybody in the stream, jump into Britannic SOS real quick. Let's see how many people we can get into the game. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. She is in her final plunge right now. Uh, I have to set up a character. Okay, mail. I will be the captain. Oh, I have to buy it. Uh, this will be the most activity this game has had in years. <laughs> oh, true. True member. Oh. Let me just look it up. Britannic uh, SOS. Do you want to use Britannic SOS? That has... Yes. Okay. Confirm. Oh. Uh, There's all the already 30 people in there. Why? Charles. <laughs> Charles Jowkin. That's going to be my name. <laughs> Charles Jowkin. <laughs> a man who saves <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> okay. And play. All right. There we go. All right. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Charles Jowkin. How many How many people we got I'm in here now? Right now? How many people we got? Uh, bring whiskey. We have got... Whoa. There's 40. The server is full. It's the full already? Full. Wow. It's, it's already full? It is full, yeah. There's yeah, there's 40 people in here. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. I made it. Okay, I'm going to be King Athos. Uh, does this game not have a lot of audio? Because I don't hear any sounds from the ship. Robots I'm sorry? basically yeah, I don't... a lot oh, of yeah. audio a couple months ago for copyright, so this game... It has no audio? It has no audio? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Roblox made an amazing update regarding audios, so that kind of broke like 99% of all audios on the platform. Seriously? They copyrighted you so over it's... syncing ship sound effects. They copyrighted you over that. Basically. We actually got copyrighted over using a certain uh, wind breeze sound effect. Yes. What so that, the that heck? Was fun. <laughs> I, made a, I made a sound effect for the outdoor ambience and the wind got copyrighted. <laughs> what the heck? You, uh, you can't make that stuff up. Okay, I like this guy's skin. He has a, a Roblox guy with Titanic as his uh, <laughs> as his head. <laughs> oh, Wait, where is he? Uh, there's a guy. I, I lost him. There's a guy here, and he's got the Titanic as his head. 
Uh, nice explosion oh, with creative. the funnel, by the way. Nice explosion with the funnel. Oh, yeah. Okay, I am walking on the side. I'm walking on the uh, port side of Britannic right now. Hello. <laughs> this is so this game was okay for it. I was so proud of it when I finished this. But mm. now when I um, look at Titanic SOSB 2 and I can just see how much more I can script and do and stuff, it's just wow. Dude, hey, that's, you, that's you sound like every creator. Though. Like, I can't watch my old videos because they drive me nuts. Like, all the stuff that I can Yeah, I mean, you're always trying to perfect what you, what you do, you know? Like, every time you do a new video, you try to make it better than the last one. Exactly. It's, it's, it's the same with games. Exactly. You just want to... Uh, hi, Uncle Sam. Okay, so just so you guys know, my sister recently had a baby. So now everybody's been calling me Uncle Sam, just like, you know, Uncle Sam. Congratulations. <laughs> um, so on that note, uh, you guys know that I'm a jokester. I like to pull jokes and all that stuff. Um, when I, so one, my last name is Pence. It was the same as uh, Mike Pence, the vice president in the America when Trump was president, but we're not related. And anyway, one day I was going through our airport security and the, the TSA guy said, Pence, are you related to the vice president? And then my jokester mind kicked in. I went, oh, you mean Uncle Mike? And he flipped oh, out. <laughs> he completely flipped out for all of five Super seconds. Class. I couldn't That's help hilarious. it, okay? It was too perfect. And then I told him I was There's joking and everything. And <laughs> I couldn't Mike. help it, okay? I just, I could not help it. It was, <coughs> it was too good a moment. Uh, hey chat, what do you all think? Do y'all agree? Like, I think it was just, it was too good. It was just, it was the perfect. <laughs> United States Forever says that's my favorite story. <coughs> so, Uncle Mike, is there a party going on? Right, is the server still full? It is still. Wait, let me see. Actually, nine oh five. Uh, uh no, there's room for one more. What's the max population for the server? 40 players. 40. Whoa, there's Goku. <laughs> I see Goku. Uh, on that note, what's the uh, what's the player limit for uh, the um, new t uh, version 2 of uh, Titanic SOS? What's the player amount? So, we tested it with around like 70 players and performance was okay with that. Um, okay. I'm going to release the game with like uh, one... Just to be safe, I'm going to release it with 70 players and then if performance stays like perfect, then I'm going to drive it up to like 100. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Butters says, don't tell me they removed the potato room on the Britannic 2. <laughs> I don't think there ever was. Why is everyone voting for the movie thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they vote for the other one? I wonder if that. Is that the, is that that crappy Britannic oh. movie? The the weird romance one? I think it's yeah. a great movie. Oh yeah, it's a great movie. I thought it was terrible. That's what I heard. It was awful. Wait, is anyone else not able to yeah, I play? Cannot. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm okay, just I just, I just, my character. I just saw a rocket shoot up from my character, and I still cannot play. I can't play anything. Yeah, so wonderful. <laughs> yeah, this is broken. <laughs> this is what happens. Something just exploded no on the back of Britannic. Something just exploded. Yeah, that's a that's a distress rocket then that crew members can use ah, in like fire. Okay, okay. Uncle Sam broke the game. I didn't do nothing. I do nothing. <laughs> well, that was incredible. And that was incredible, guys. And uh, once again, thank you for showing showing me and everybody in the stream that the new game. Of course. You guys did incredible work. Thank and, you for showing the public. Oh, no problem. I'm glad I could help. And so when is the release date? And is there anything, anybody, any final words that anybody, everybody should know before they play it? Um, so the release date is March 8th. That's next Friday on... Uh, 5 30 p.m gmt if you want to stay updated on the release and the development of titanic sos um sam i suppose you're okay with me advertising your time interactive since you just did oh sure um, sure yeah you can you can put my is there a way for you to put our discord oh uh, sure absolutely when the, like... when this so i'm planning this will stay in the live stream area and i'm also planning to upload this as an individual video so like it'll be the stream but it'll be saved in the video uh, category and everything, and I'll I'll link the okay. Discord and I'll link I'll link everything in that. I'll link everything in that. Wonderful. I also just tried putting the link in the in the chat, but I'll DM it to you real quick. 
Okay, cool. that sounds good. There you go. And somebody was uh, saying in the chat, and I'm pretty sure he was spamming it, but it's still a good idea. Um, please don't spam, guys. But he was suggesting uh, add the light on the horizon of the Californian. That's what he was suggesting. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, if Roblox's render distance allows us to do that without it, like, getting all weird and buggy, then we might actually try to do that. Mm, gotcha. One of the uh, one of the animators for THG, um, what was his name? Uh, I've talked to him quite a few times. I just forgot his, uh, his online name. But anyway, uh, they, you know that THG did some work for a Titanic museum uh, here in the States, the Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition. And if you go in there, there's one room where you enter uh, the ADEC promenade from Titanic. And if you look out, they have like a giant like a projector and it's playing a shot from the animation from that point of view. And you can see the lights on the horizon and everything. It was really cool. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, everybody. Well, hey, on that note, uh, we will go ahead and close out the live stream. So once again, thank you guys so much for showing us this. Your work is incredible. I can't wait to see it. And everybody, the game will release on the 8th. So mark your calendars. Look forward to that. And yeah, guys, that's it. And thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you all so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night, everybody. And Thank, thank you for you. having us in. All right, bye. Thank you. Good night, everyone.